Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4 4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer. And big announcement yesterday, D&D 5.5 is going to be dropping in uh, 2024, it looks like. Um, so, we got a lot to talk about. Um, there's going to be a lot of speculations because they also announced that, and I wanna, I'm looking at my notes here because I want to make sure I get this right. Um, they're going to do two new classic D&D campaign, um, additions in 2022, next year. Um, and they said that it's going to be in new, t new formats, which I don't know what that means. Um, but, uh, they said that they're going to be trying a, a new format for both of them. Um, they also said that there's going to be a cameo by a third classic setting next year. And then in 2023, uh, there will be another um, classic setting uh, added. Um, so there's going to be all kinds of speculation about the campaign settings that they're going to be bringing back. So uh, just like I had in the thumbnail, you're going to have a lot of people clamoring for Dragonlance. You're going to have a lot of people clamoring for Spelljammer and uh, Planescape. Those are going to be the three big ones. I'm hoping that Greyhawk, of course, I want Greyhawk more than anything, but I'm hoping that they're going to make Greyhawk one of the the four additional campaigns that they're going to add, the classic campaigns that they're going to add back. Um, Planescape was very, very popular. Dragonlance was very popular. Spelljammer was popular. I don't know that it was as popular as the other ones. Greyhawk, of course, is the original game world. Um, well, actually, Blackmoor. Uh, I guess they could. I guess they could. There's nothing stopping them from bringing back Blackmoor either. Um, Blackmoor was the original D&D campaign way back. However, Greyhawk was the first published. Blackmore was Dave Arneson's campaign, one of the creators of D&D, &D, but Greyhawk got published first. So they, I mean, if you really want to think outside the box, we could be talking about Blackmore too, but that's highly doubtful. Um, so what are your thoughts about, what are your hopes, and what are your thoughts, your predictions for, put in the comments below what you guys think. Um, Oh, and before I forget, get too far into this, because I always forget this, please, if you like my content, please click like, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, all that. Greatly appreciated. I want to grow the channel. Thank you. Um, so, let's talk about some other stuff here. So, 2024 is 50, it will be the 50th anniversary of D&D. So, that's, I think, why they're, it sounds like that's what they're going to sync this up for 5.5, is they want to do it with the 50th anniversary. So, that is um, appropriate, it would seem. Um, I talked about it in my live last night that I think 5.5, announcing 5.5, is a smart move on their part because people were already clamoring, for whatever reason, people were already clam clamoring for, for 6E, for 6th uh, edition. Um, what this does is it allows them to, kind of like was done with 3.5, um, it allows them to uh, uh, satisfy the appetite of those that want 6th edition already. Um, and it allows them to tweak some stuff, uh, revamp some stuff, all that. Um, so I think, it, uh, and tying it in with the 50th anniversary is a perfect, from a marketing standpoint, that's a perfect idea. So, um, I, all those things, um, I think, are, are a great idea. Now, they also talked about January that they're going to be releasing a box set of the core books, or not necessarily the core books, but um, the source books um, that is basically going to be a rehash of, I think, Tasha's and uh, uh, one of the other ones. And um, then... They're adding in there, they're adding in a new one called Mordor and Kanan's Guide to Monsters of the Multiverse. Um, 
and that they they admitted that that's basically a rehash of Volo's Guide to Monsters, um, and they even showed some side by sides of the of the stat blocks and all that stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what you're what you're really getting if, with these with this box set that's going to come out in January is you're going to get some source books you've already got, and then you're going to get this Morden Canaan's Guide, um, and it didn't. I don't think they answered the question if you're going to be able to buy that new book separately. I think you may have to buy this source book box set thing. Um, and it does have a regular and an alternate a set of alternate covers, of course, which, you know, are, were gorgeous and all that. Um, so, <clears throat> got to have a little tea here. So, I, I don't know. That seems more like a cash grab to me. That they're going to rehash some more stuff and put out another box set of source books and all that. That that's what that sounds like. But um, uh, in addition to that, uh, they talked about two new settings that they're going to add at some point that are in, as they put it, the exploration phase. These are brand new settings. They're not the classic ones. They're not ones that have ever been done before. These are brand new settings. So that would, that would if you add the four that they're talking about, classic ones, and then two new that they said are ex in exploration, may or may not see the light of day the way they, they put it. I think it was Chris Perkins that was talking about that. Um, you're talking about a possibility of six additional campaign worlds. Um which of course leads itself into okay, they're going to have a multi. There'll be the multiverse, right? You know, um, so all that was announced, and then they also said um, there's a mystery product next year at, that will have uh, Boo, the space hamster uh, from Minsk and Boo um, from Baldur's Gate. Um, that's all they they just teased that. So um, all of that was announced. Um, and my, my personal view is that, like I said, I think that there's a little bit of a cash grab with them putting out box sets in January of these source books with this new Morden Canons. Hopefully we'll be able to get the Morden Canons by itself, uh, instead of having to buy the other source books again. Um, but, and it sounds like those are going to, those source books will have some updated stuff in them, so they won't be identical. They did say it'll have new artwork, etc. So they will be a little different, but, um, so that's the first thing. And then I'm really excited about the additional campaigns, obviously. Um, but I, I got to have my fingers crossed for Greyhawk. Um, I'm almost certain it's going to be Dragonlance. Here's my predictions. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be Dragonlance, for sure, I think, and Planescape. Those two, I think, are dead bang for sure. I really do. Spelljammer is a very high possibility. Um, and then the other one is hopefully going to be Greyhawk. It could also be Dark Sun. That's, a, that's kind of a long shot. Um, uh, could be, I mean, the real long shot would be Blackmore. That would be uh, way out of the park, but it's possible. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think that, yeah, so my predictions are, without a question, Dragonlance, Spelljammer, Planescape. Those, I think, for sure. And then the fourth one's the wild card, and I'm hoping it's Greyhawk. So, anyway, that was the announcement. Those are my predictions. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, please put your comments below. Let me know what you think, what your predictions are. Um, do you think that this other stuff that, uh, that, that I was talking about, the box set for January, think that's a cash grab? Or do you think that's actually something that's going to add value to your game, etc.? So, um, other than that, guys, I think uh, I've covered all the stuff they went over. So, if there's anything I missed, we'll probably cover it in a live or something like that. Had a lot of fun in the live last night. Um that we had as we had 13 people at one point which for me is a <laughs> that's a new record um but we we had a lot of good conversations about a lot of good topics so um i'll try to be doing those at least once or twice a week 
and um, sold my first T-shirt. So there is a there will be a T-shirt uh, merch link uh, down below if, if you're interested. So um, with that, guys, we will catch you on the flip side.